Banishment. This is a term used in Yu-Gi-Oh, which long ago used to be called Remove from Play. It's a gameplay mechanic that allows you to basically get rid of a card for good. Or at least that's how it started out. Destroying a monster, sending it to the graveyard. Well, that's technically gone from the game, isn't it? Well, no, you see, you have other cards that can bring cards back from the graveyard. Yu-Gi-Oh! started for us international folks in the year 2002, and the first set that was ever released was The Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And one of the cards that was included in that set, the first set, keep in mind, was Monster Reborn. Meaning that Konami always intended for the graveyard to be not necessarily the end of things. Like, yeah, you can still dabble in that if you want to. And almost like foreshadowing, over the next couple of months, we got a couple extra cards that could affect the graveyard, so you could get traps back from the graveyard. Sometimes you can get spells back. I think for long, long time ago, Yu-Gi-Oh, about 80% of the graveyard was inaccessible, but there were still things you could get back. Now, fast forward only a year, more and more cards are being able to affect the graveyard. However, it was this time when we got a brand new card introduced that was called Soul Release. This spell's effect was select up to five cards from either you or your opponent's graveyard and remove them from the current duel. You heard that right, not remove it from play, remove it from the current duel. To me, it is clear that the first iteration of a card that could banish was implied to fully get rid of a card. These five cards that you choose are getting removed from the game entirely. No way to get them back, they're gone for good. And for me personally, if they would have stuck to this, then the remove from play mechanic would have been probably the most devastating thing that can happen to you. Since if you have one of your boss monsters, your ultimate monster, and it's banished, it's gone for good. Well, I really hope that you have another win condition in your deck because it's gone. And that's honestly quite a scary thought. Some of your best cards gone forever in a duel, I don't know. Like, remove from play, it's a threatening thing. And I mean, it wasn't just soul release. We had another card released just a little bit later called Banisher of the Light, which could, as long as it was faced upon the field, make it so any card sent to the graveyard was removed from play instead. So with these two cards, the remove from play mechanic up until this point is pretty devastating. However, the very next year after this mechanic was introduced, the first card to water down the remove from play mechanic would be released. And it was the card Miracle Dig. This card's effect was, if there are five or more of your monsters that have been removed from play in the current duel, return three of them to the graveyard. And this to me personally is where the remove from play mechanic slowly started to get watered down to a point where it's not how it originally was meant to be. But you see, slowly over time we would get more cards that could remove cards from play, but also more cards that could bring them back. Things like Return from the Different Dimension, Different Dimension Master, Dimension Fusion, Dimension Explosion, Burial from a Different Dimension, Levier, the Sea Dragon. In fact, it was during this period that the graveyard became more and more accessible to the everyday player. The graveyard was going from a semi-permanent place a card would be, to becoming more of an extension of your own hand. If you can dump cards from your deck into the graveyard, well, there's a few ways you can get them out that way, which are much easier. Fast forward a little bit more time and you get the remove from play term getting renamed to banished. This was done to save space on card effects since, well, it's getting used much, much more. It was also changed to stop people getting confused with remove from the field and that got changed in the same update to leaves the field instead, so there's no more confusion, but that's not important to today's video. If we fast forward all the way to modern day, the banished zone is more or less what the graveyard was in its earlier kind of days. There are decks based around being banished, bringing cards back from the banished zone. There are loads of cards that can remove things from play and bring them back. Essentially, you have two graveyards now. Now with the banished zone much more accessible than it was originally intended to be, what does Konami do? Well, they introduce a new mechanic, banishing face down. The reason why this type of banishment differs from regular banishment, like the name implies, is it makes cards banished face down. What this does is it makes the card have basically no identity. So let's say you have a card that would add a monster back. Well, you can't tell if it's a monster, so you can't do it. Or let's say you want to add a spell back. How do you know that card's a spell? Well, you don't. If you banish one of your own cards or if you banish one of your opponent's cards face down, it is essentially gone from the duel in its entirety. It'll never see play again. That is, unless you have a Psy Frame Lord Omega 
But you see, this card can target a face down banished card and return it to the graveyard, since in its effect it only specifies a banished card, rather than a banished monster, a spell, or a trap. And unfortunately, there's another. Pale Zoic Lincolia is another card that can return a face down banished card, since it too specifies banished card rather than anything specific. Is it an accident that these cards just happen to have the right wording to bring back face down banished cards? Or are we gonna see face down banished cards go the way of the banished, which in turn went the way of the graveyard? <sighs> I hope not. At the end of the day, the banished mechanic did lead to some really cool archetypes and some really cool cards and abilities and certain tactics that you can use. And it's not like banishment is that accessible. It is quite tricky to bring a banished card back if your deck doesn't revolve around it or stuff, but a lot of decks do. So having something that could permanently take a card out of the game, for me personally, I think is a really intriguing idea and something that I wished original banishment would have been, but I'm hoping now that face down banishment will be that. I hope we only get these two cards that can return a face down banished card and that's it. Those two are just a fluke, we get nothing else. So what was I trying to say in this video? Well, I just kind of wanted to talk about banishment for a bit because I found it interesting that the graveyard was meant to be the, that's the end of your card, it's gone for good. Actually now it's more super accessible, so yeah, the graveyard's basically a second hand, right? And then you get banishment, which is meant to be the permanent that's it, your cards are gone forever. But then Banishment kind of came quite accessible. And you've got cards that really like fueled from the Banish Zone as well. Probably one that I don't really like, that Eater of Millions card. I'm not a fan of that. And I guess if the Banishment was permanent, that card would be pretty OP, I guess, because, oh, having your monster banished every single turn, oh, it's a bit of a nightmare. But I can see both sides to Banishment being a fully permanent thing and Banishment being like a semi-permanent thing. Because it would suck to have your very best monsters in your deck, basically the core of your deck all banished and you can't ever use it for the rest of the duel. But then again, I guess that's part of it. As long as Banishment is a high risk, high reward kind of thing. I don't know. So yeah, the point of this video was just kind of to be a discussion. I just wanted to ask all of you guys, do you think Banishment should have been permanent back in the day? Or fast forward now, modern times, do you think face down banishment should be permanent? We've already got two cards that can return face down banished cards back into the graveyard. Should that stop with those two and make face down banishment just the, it's gone now. You can't mess with it anymore. And one more little side thing I want to mention is the fact that we have never had a banished zone. So technically, I don't think there is actually a banished zone. There's a place where you put banished cards um, and that's more of a like term or just sort of a state rather than an actual place you put them. I think, I think that's how it works anyway. And do you think they should start adding a banished zone onto fields now? Or do you think a field's just tidy enough in its nice little square format? Because you'd have to add that onto the side. Because I don't think it's ever stated anywhere officially, but the banished zone is always normally next to your graveyard or next to your deck or something. So I don't know. It's just something I wanted to talk about. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this uh, this subject, but I'm interested to see what you all say. And if you play a banished deck, tell me about it. So, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye, everyone.